Hi everyone, it's Halima and I'm gonna show you my everyday skincare routine and then my go-to party look. This is a fun look. This is when you're going out with your girlfriends. This is on a Friday night, after party, whatever you wanna do. What I like to start with is a face mask and usually I like to make my own. I use honey, aloe vera, a lot of natural organic ingredients, but since we're in New York, I'm gonna use um, just like one of these ready ready to go packets. I don't like to put it on this way because it just is not a good look and I like to look good. <laughs> so what I do is like I actually like to fold my masks and plus like I know people say it absorbs into the skin but I feel like this way you could like really get into all those little corners. This is the cleanser that I like to use. It's the Tasha Deep Cleanse. I don't like being too rough with my skin but you gotta get in there and exfoliate it has like little beads um, so it's really nice for like pores and then I rinse Whew. I like to use cold water um, for my face when I rinse off and then I don't actually ever rub I just tap gently tap I feel like cold water makes my pores look smaller. But y'all can shock me because I'm not a scientist. And now I'm gonna go in with the Bite Lip Mask um, so my lips aren't so chapped and on the struggle bus. But my mom would say, if you drink water, you wouldn't need this. And then I moisturize and I love this moisturizer, guys. This is amazing, like my skin feels so hydrated working in the modeling industry like I wear makeup almost every day for work and you need to have a good skincare regimen I love having nice glowy skin so I'll just do literally a little drop of this oil especially for my under eyes because if your skin is nice and glowy and hydrated the foundation glides it just goes on so effortlessly so that's why I like to use the oil and then the other thing is like I like to massage my face don't be afraid to like take that extra five minutes to just sit there let all the oils absorb massage that's done and if you thought I was done with skincare you thought wrong we're gonna uh, spray breathe in guys primer and because this primer tends to work better when you let it sit. I'm gonna do that first and then I'll go to my eyes. I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I like to, does anyone else do this? Like I like to mix all the products with my fingers before it even touches my face. It literally mattifies everything right away. You know how they say eyebrows should be like sisters, not twins? Well, mine are not even in the same family. Like they're not even talking. It's a family feud. Like one is shorter than the other. The art arch is different like what is going on can you guys just have a conversation so I try to like pull them closer together once you do the brows it just goes up from there I don't know if you guys can see but I have like my brow has like a scar right there so I have to go in after I brush them out and just make sure that it looks like there's hair there you know you gotta fake it till you make it girl fake it till you make it I forgot to go get my eyebrows done, so I still have a couple hairs that need to be covered. So I like to use this to kind of like hi highlight underneath. It makes the brow look nice and sharp and just go in with a brush. We gotta go in, make sure the hair is lifted, nice and faded. This makes it just look like it's hair and not like you spent five whole minutes filling it in and struggling and maybe crying. It just comes together so nice. And now it's my favorite part, which is the foundation. And then it's like my little palette, you know what I mean? Blend, 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 blend. Sometimes it's nice to go a little bit darker. My mom would not let me wear makeup until like I was a senior in high school. So I was that, I was that student who was like, hey girl, do you have a lipstick? I like to come down a little bit and like get the get the neck. Even if even if I'm wearing a hijab, like 
I don't know which way I'm gonna be turning, so I like to struggle. I also don't go to the gym, so this is like the exercise that I like to do. They don't call it a beat for no reason, right? Now it's time for the under eyes. The other thing is like, um, I wear the hijab, so like the way I decide, like how I want my makeup to look, for example, if I'm gonna be wearing a colorful headscarf, like I want my makeup to reflect that. I know some people like to uh, highlight their forehead, but mine is already gigantic and I don't wanna bring any attention to it. In fact, it's the opposite. <laughs> I'm probably gonna warm it up quite a lot. That little M on my lips, like. This is like my favorite color ever for contouring. I like to like suck in my cheekbones. I have a Somali forehead, so thanks mom and dad. For eyeshadow, I'm kind of weird. I use that same color to just do that for my entire like eyelid. This, right? It's literally my lipstick. I'm gonna take a little bit of that, right? And then the other thing I love about using lipstick as eyeshadow, first of all, you get your money's worth, girl. You get your lips, your eyeshadow, your contour. That is like a pro in itself, right? And then the other thing is it has a nice like shine to it. So when you blank, it just literally looks like you have that nice glowy, like, you know, it just makes your eyes look so, so nice. And then I also like to do that with my bottom lid. It's so hard to like try to look cute and do this, so I gave up, you know, you're gonna see the real me. Even for your cheeks, like, it looks kind of crazy, it looks kind of crazy, but bear with me. Beauty blunder. What did I tell you? 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 <laughs> uh -uh. Like, you just have to be creative with it. Don't be afraid to have fun, you know? I am obsessed, obsessed with this palette. I'm gonna go in with 24K. Honey. <gasps> Stop! Oh my gosh. What? Guys, it's so good. <laughs> I was not expecting, I was not expecting it to be this bomb. Oh my gosh. I think part of the reason why this color popped so nice is because I went in with the darker colors first and then I also used that lipstick so it was already like nice and creamy so by the time I went in with this gold it literally like I don't know what the word for is but that's what happened it went so I'm gonna go in with the cocoa because I like the half and half you know I like the almost like an ombre like it goes from light to dark as you go this way add a little bit of black sometimes i'll be at home not working not doing anything but i'll still like be in the mood to do like a full face so i'll do my makeup i'll like do a smoky eye like look really cute and then go and wash my dishes that's the other thing you don't need to wear makeup for going out and for other people sometimes it's fun to just look nice for yourself and like play around with it you know I usually exfoliate my lips with brown sugar and honey like in the morning and then like my lips stay like decent. I like to do mine just a tad bit under the line so that like that part over here later when I add the um, highlighter it's gonna pop. And for the inside I just like take my finger and then go. Yum. And then you say, what do you do with the leftovers? Well, you know we don't like to waste stuff, so I like to go back over here. You know, to like tie back that black with the gold with the now it's like too. Yeah, and then now my eyes somewhat match my lips. <laughs> brows make make or break the face, I feel like. You know, if as long as your brows are like they look okay, I think you can you can get away with any makeup look. Now it's time to go in and lift these babies up. I can feel each lash getting lifted. I like to give them a little support. You know, sometimes you just gotta push these girls up. Like, come on girl, I believe in you. Ooh, mascara time. Ooh. Okay, so let me come close. 
I like to go as close as you can to like your lash line and then wiggle 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 the corners get a little tricky rotate the wand a little bit this one comes with its own little like like a tiny little wand for like the bottom that you could use for those corners oh my god I didn't even know I, I didn't even know I had lashes down there what is this now they're so long get in there 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 voila I like a little gloss on my lips so it's like hey girl hey so I'm gonna go back and gloss it up with this and it smells so good my lips already feel so nice and like this isn't too overboard but it's still like a little bit of a luster it makes your lips look nice and hydrated like you just finished 10 bottles of water girl I thought I was done with contour but you know I like to do the most so I'm gonna contour my moles just a little bit and then I'll go in okay it's coming together it's not that terrible my favorite step is the highlighting so I like to use my fingers oh my god oh my, look at that like that is gonna be so cute okay so this right I like to go point just a little bigger just a little bit and now my cheeks I like to also go in like my eyebrows and like just pull it pull her pull her down and then the cheek and just kind of like huggy like so it's tied together you know it's like a little but you know this is my good side so we're gonna we're gonna leave her alone like that we're gonna do just a little bit what I like to do is like literally a couple taps because you don't need a lot you don't want to look like you're overdone <laughs> You know, you want these people to think like you just woke up, rolled out of bed. And because I used that lipstick earlier, I'm gonna use like the lightest shade, so this one. It really does tie together like the face, you know, and then when you smile, it's like, hi, hello. Oh, okay, let me stop right there before I go over overboard. We're gonna use the Fenty liner. <sighs> Last step. I hate, and I do this a lot, like I get makeup on, like lipstick on my teeth. So the last and final tip is after you're done, just like stick your finger in your mouth. And then like, yeah, it just gets rid of all the lipstick underneath. So yeah, you won't have any mess on your teeth. Okay, so I'm done and I'm ready to go party now. Like I love this look. Thank you, Vogue.